Right, with me now, former Republican Congressman Ted Cruz supporter Jack Houston is with me now. Congressman, thanks in advance for the time. What does Ted Cruz's comment say to you about how he is campaigning at the moment? You know, I think Ted Cruz is a pro. He wants people to uh, feel comfortable. He welcomes dissent, but at the same time, he's in control. He is a tested constitutional conservative who does make sense when he talks. I think the big difference between Ted Cruz and Donald Trump is Trump is just undisciplined, unfiltered, uncontrolled. And, um, you know, the idea of him having his finger on the nuclear trigger and appointing judges is a little bit scary. Ted Cruz has consistently uh, stood for smaller government. He's never supported Hillary Clinton or uh, Nancy Pelosi the way that Trump has. He hasn't supported uh, Chuck Schumer or John Kerry the way Trump Congressman, though, Donald has, Trump, I, I mean, just to, to be clear, has said, listen, he did that as a business person, not in acting with any political view in mind. Well, that's exactly what's wrong with the system. That's exactly what the Cruz people are fighting against is uh, really uh, people who are void of philosophy, who are only looking to fish their own line. They don't care if the boat stays afloat or not. And what Ted Cruz is saying is we don't want those kind of special interests in our campaign because we're taking on the status quo and we're taking on the establishment, which is why in Ohio and in Illinois and in Florida, we have started to do so well. We were already doing very well in Missouri and North Carolina, but you know, the closer you get to voting time, as candidates start to look at who can beat Donald Trump and who can beat Hillary Clinton and who is the true conservative, people are coming to us in the Cruz campaign. Well, Congressman, to your point, we actually want to play a clip from Senator Cruz, and it is exactly what you were just talking about this groundswell of support, at least from what we can tell right now, in Illinois and Ohio. Here's the senator. Yes. We've got Illinois, we've got Missouri, we've got North Carolina, we've got Ohio, and we've got Florida. Three of those states, Illinois, Missouri, and North Carolina, were neck and neck. Three of those states were effectively tied with Donald Trump, and we are campaigning hard and vigorously in all three of them. The remaining two, Ohio and Florida, we are surging powerfully. So, Congressman, you yourself have been through some pretty thick races. What are your predictions for tonight? What does Senator Cruz need to do, even if we just talk about the math? What does he need to do for a win? I think we, I think we need to get delegates out of Missouri and North Carolina and Illinois. Um, Ohio is somewhat of a jump ball right now, and Florida may or may not go our way. But what we are finding is um, we're going to get our delegates. And after that, the wind is at our back. The next 22 states, the next 22 primaries, 18 of them are closed primaries, meaning only Republican voters can vote in them. And Republican voters tend to be, as you know, maybe uh, better informed and certainly um, more conservative than the open primary states where anybody can show up on election day whether they've been following the elections or not. So in 18 of the next 20 two states, we're playing on our home turf, and we feel very, very good about it. Um, if John Kasich succeeds in winning Ohio, we don't see how Donald Trump is going to get anywhere near the 1,237 delegates that he right. needs to get the 51 percent. So we are very well organized. Our money is very strong. All small contribu uh, contributions, as you know, are super PAC. You had Kelly on it right. and um, early... Um, we're not coordinated with her, of course, but they seem to the uh, be side. very invigorated. Yeah, so we're, we're feeling very good about things. And you need things. the wind in your sails, especially before the Northeast states, which is the next group, but next where many people expect Donald Trump to play well. Congressman, thank you very much. Thank Former you, Congressman and Cruz supporter Jack Kingston.